For this project you will need nylon core thread 1 mm, 5 jump rings 10 mm. You need a big whole bead so you can thread through 4 of the strings of the nylon core thread. You need a glue in barrel cord end, a lobster clasp about 12 mm length. You need a jump ring 5 mm glue, your pliers, so we have a round nose plier, two flat nose pliers and a cutting plier, a head pin and some other beads if we want to make a charm later. And scissors. The first step is to trim the nylon cord thread in two strings about 1 meter 60 length. Now we have to make the loop element. For this we need the 10 mm jump rings. We open the first one gently without distorting the shape and attach the second one to it. Close it, take both together and take the third jump ring, open it and attach the two to it, close it, take the three together. Now the fourth one open it, attach the three jump rings to it, close it and the fifth jump ring. Open it, attach the four jump rings to it and close it. Now our loop element is ready. Now you take your two strings of the nylon core thread and thread it through the loop element pull the strings until the four ends meet. And now you pull back, hold it tight and we found the middle. Now you take your big whole bead and thread the four strings through it. Your cord and loop element should look like this now. The next step is that we want to knot the cord thread. For it I would suggest that you fit this part here between two books or something that holds it. I have some foam material here with a slit in the middle so I can put it in and now we have the four strings we need to knot the bracelet. Now we want to make the first knot. For this you take the first string and put it over the string number two. No, you take string number two and put it over string number three. Now we take the third string and put it over string number four. And the fourth string you take and thread it through the loop of the first string. And now you can pull all four strings together equally. So this is how the knot should look like. The first knot shouldn't be pulled too tight, so the loop can still move in the thread cord. So fit it in back into your help, helping hand. And we want to do the second knot. I'd like to show you a little bit closer how you make the knot. Um, you take string number one put it over string two. Now you take string two and put it over string three. Now take string three, put it over string four and now you take string four, put it over string one and thread it through the hole, the loop of string one from top and now you can pull the four string and you have this knot. Go on doing this. Now it's time to find out how long the bracelet should be and how long the knotted part has to be. 
For this we take the 5mm jump ring and attach it to the lobster clasp and also to the glue-in barrel cordant. Close the jump ring and hook the clasp into the loop element. The easiest way is to use a bracelet you already have and to use it as a pattern. When you think that you're ready with the with knotting you can take the barrel end cap and put the string the knotted part into it and now you can try it. In my case it's okay. I like it when it fits a little bit tighter. When you did the last knot, it's very important that you pull the strings tight and take your glue and drip a drop of glue on the last knot and let it dry. And after it you can trim the excess cord thread. Now you can glue in the cord thread into the barrel end cap. To do so you take your glue and fill it into the cap about half I think I would say and then you can put the cord into the cap and leave it that way. Let it dry about two hours. Now it's time for the charm. For the charm you take your head pin and a crimp bead and thread it onto the head pin, a bigger bead and a smaller bead. And now you can make a loop. You have to cut off the wire with a cutting plier, leaving a length about one centimeter after the last bead. Something like that. Now bend the top of the wire over the pliers to 90 degree angle. Now use the red nose plier to grip the top of the wire and to turn the wire into a loop. Now your charm is done. Now it's time to finish our bracelet and to do so we take the charm we made earlier, attach it to a 5mm jump ring and attach the jump ring to the loop element of the bracelet. Close the jump ring gently and as usual try not distort the shape of the jump ring. Now we can close the bracelet with a lobster clasp. And here we have a pretty bracelet.